when to flush your Harley Davidson Softail brake fluid. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So, in this quick video, I'm talking about when should you flush, change your brake fluid on your Harley Davidson brake lines. Now, the manual says that you really need to change it uh, every two years, let's say. Uh, but actually, the most critical thing here is the moisture content. If it's above two, then you really need to change it because there's too much moisture uh, in there. If it gets to three and four, you definitely need to change it. Now, what does this mean? Actually, hydraulic fluid or brake fluid uh, and also water, they moisture, they have different compressibility factors so that means that let's say if you had water in there not only will it uh, lead to corrosion but also when you apply the brakes there isn't going to be the same compression and that's not going to impart the same pressure on the brake pads to enable your braking so what happened is that you might have um, some hard braking then all of a sudden you'll have some soft braking so your braking will be quite vague uh, quite spongy there, there won't be enough braking there or you won't be reliable enough which actually can be very dangerous of course so you should really do it every two years you could say but actually the critical thing here is don't be so concerned about the two-year mark be more concerned about the the moisture content now if you watch my one of my previous videos there's a little gizmo uh, which you can buy uh, which you can easily test the moisture content on yours now this is a process which you can do at home as well so there's another video i've got which is just explains about the braking system and the abs but as long as you don't introduce any air into the system actually flushing the system is absolutely fine if you're under any doubt take your motorcycle to a dealership or to a qualified mechanic certainly to a dealership and let them do it obviously you'll have to pay for this to be about 100 pounds dollars shekels whatever it is but they could do it for you but as i say a brake flush every two years but it's the moisture content above two that's what you're really looking at you could have it in there two three four years it should be absolutely fine mostly but as i say check it on a regular basis check it certainly after two years and maybe consider getting somebody else to do it if you want a full change let's say uh, let's say if you've had to replace uh, brake lines because you've done a, a bar rise uh, kit or handlebar change then you're really going to need to flush and also bleed all the brakes properly and you may need to take it to a dealership to uh, motor the abs unit as well make sure there's no abs air or air in the abs uh, system as well that's another issue but that's something uh, that you can uh, overcome yourself but you may want to take it to a dealership but as i say uh, flushing the brakes every couple of years or that moisture content which is the key thing as well so hope you found that useful don't forget to subscribe like and share check out the website revelator.com and i'll catch you again on another video coming very soon bye now